Hi friends, it's Marika Lake here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to do a little bit of a home tour for you. If you tuned in to my video that I posted a few weeks ago talking about big changes that are happening here in the lake house, um, I shared on that video that we're actually um, renovating our house, we're actually extending it. We live in this cute little 70s home by the sea here in, our, um, in Western Australia and we love our home, we love where we live, we love the street that we live on but our house is actually just getting too small for us because we have seven people now living here my children are getting older um, we've had this house for 10 years I think now and we are slowly outgrowing it but we don't want to move and so um, for the last six months we've actually been working on extending our home and doing it all ourselves so it's actually taking a while but I thought I would just show give you a home tour um, of our cute little home and just show you um, where we're going to be extending it and maybe you could come along on the journey with us as we make um, this home bigger for our family of seven. Okay so this is the front door into our home. I just had to step outside to show you our entryway because it is so tiny. As I said here is the front door and it comes straight into our little hallway um, and down into the rest of our home and then to the right here is my I can't say little boys room anymore but my two middle boys bedroom. Now this room that I'm actually standing in which is at the front of our house right inside the front door used to be the home's main living room. As I said this is a very small home it was built in the 70s and it's only a three bedroom one bathroom and this was actually the main living room um, and we had this as our living room probably for about four or five years until Jackson was born and we needed more bedrooms and not more space and so we decided to build on another living room and homeschool room which you have seen before and turn this living room into my two middle boys bedroom. So it has this super fun um, sliding door from the 70s as their door and I, I actually love that so I have kept that feature and I just have as I said my two boys in here I actually purchased all of this furniture off of marketplace and I, it was all wooden and I just painted it myself so it would all look cohesive um, but this is just my little uh, two middle boys I keep going to say little boys um, my two middle boys bedroom okay so as you come out of my boys room back into the tiniest of tiny hallways um, we come down and then to the left here is actually the master bedroom so you've probably seen little glimpses of my master bedroom before. This is a place that has the best light in the house and is usually the quietest. And so I usually sit in here to film my YouTube videos, like my intros and outros and things like that. Um, so you probably have um, seen it, um, but it's not very big at all. Now we are very tall people. So we're over six foot, my husband and I. So we actually have a king sized bed and my king size bed actually takes up pretty much the whole room um and so that's that's my bedside table it's right next to the door um i've got an armchair in here at the moment because that is actually where i feed uh, baby jay in the middle of the night and there is his um little bassinet and so i've got those squeezed in here in the corner um at the moment um, and then this is just our wardrobe. It's just kind of built in, which is great, but it's not a walk-in robe. I can't wait to get a walk-in robe. And then I just have my drawers here, which is not styled. It's just kind of become this dumping ground. And so this room really just kind of is just like living its purpose. It's not really decorated or homely at the moment because I'm moving out of here and into our new bedroom. But this is currently the master room. And as I said, we are building oh let me turn this camera around we are actually in the process of building a new master bedroom and this room will become my older son william's room he's 15 this will actually become his bedroom so at the moment it's kind of just functional i don't have anything out as you saw on top of my drawers it's just stuff kind of sitting around um because i'm waiting to move into my new room but this is currently the master bedroom of our little home 
So this is our master bedroom here. So you come out and opposite that is the only like storage closet in our house, the only living closet in our house. It's tiny, full of junk. And I won't show you that because it's so embarrassing. But in our extension, we are building a new cupboard, which is awesome. So you come out of our master bedroom and then it is straight into what is our dining area and then into our very, very small kitchen. Our kitchen is tiny. I do love it, but it is so small. So this is another, this is kind of the next project after we finish the bedrooms. Um, but honestly, it's gonna take a few years to get to doing this. But this is our tiny 70s kitchen. I actually love the wooden cupboards. I love the open, shelves i think they're so cool um but it, it's just small and tired and needs an update but we've got our fridge here um coffee old stove can't wait to get a new stove um no dishwasher my sink is so tiny and it's really low as i said i'm six foot and so it's so low and my cool 70s pantry door i actually really like that door um it's missing a handle but this is our tiny kitchen. And let me just show you the one thing that does actually bother me is my lack of bench space. This bench space is so tiny. Let me get a plate. Um, so you can see that's the size of a dinner plate. And that is the size of my kitchen bench. It's so shallow. Um, and so you can't put much on there. Um, but my tiny 70s kitchen um, which will eventually get a makeover um, because having a family of seven and having this tiny kitchen is really hard to work in but we're making do so that's my tiny kitchen and then in behind here I'll just show you that quickly is my laundry room um, which is tiny full of junk um, and I can't wait to get as I said in the new extension we're actually building um, a walk-in like closet um, where we can store things. But this is my tornado laundry with a door that goes outside. I have the biggest washing machine ever because we've got seven people. So I love that, but that's really messy. So let's just shut that door. <laughs> um, and then this is um, actually my dining room. My dog, he is just following me around the house while I film this video and you can hear my baby Jay making cute little noises there. But this is our dining room. Um, now let me just give you a bit of a full look. All right, this is a look at it from the other angle. So you can see here coming down the hallway, bedrooms there. Um, at the moment, I've got this corner set up with all of baby Jay's things because he actually doesn't have a bedroom. So that's his shelf with all these things on and a change table. I think what the original plan of the house would be that that was actually the dining space there. They would have had um, like a, a round probably um, dining table there. So that's just my dog having a drink. And then this probably along here would have been another sitting area um, but we've got this big eight seater table so we've just popped it in the middle of the room and then um, I just have ex that uh, shelf down there has extra food because my uh, pantry is so small they're having seven people they've always got extra food so I've got food stored in there and then at the moment as I said this is all of baby Jay's things and his change table and he's actually sleeping in my room and then this is actually can you believe it or not my home office as i said this is only a originally a three bedroom one bathroom home and we turned our lounge room into the fourth bedroom so there's no like extra room for an office um we have a homeschool room which has all of our homeschool supplies but this shelf behind just um sorry this side <laughs> just um, like hides like our home office stuff like paperwork um junk cords electronics and all that kind of stuff and so i really would like to find a new home for that but at the moment that's just kind of all hidden um on that shelf so that's our dining room and then you come down i don't really have any hallways in my house because it's so small but down here as you can tell that's my current my teenager's current bedroom and this one is my daughter's bedroom and then 
just around here is toilet um, and this is the only bathroom bathroom <laughs> that um, we have in the house um, it is tiny um, we renovated it ourselves um, it probably needs to be updated at some stage but this is the only bathroom we currently have in the home and we are going to be adding another bathroom so I will show you where that's going to be but as you can see it is the house is not very big we're making it work though so there's my daughter's room and there is my son's room right there so that is the original home that we started with as i said it's built in the 70s just a three bedroom one bathroom home fairly small when we moved into this home we only had two children emily was a newborn baby william was just five years old and at the time it was plenty big enough but we've had three more children jo join our family and we did decide that we wanted to stay here we didn't want to sell and move anywhere else and so we needed to make the home um, bigger for us. And so we built this room behind us, which you've probably seen in plenty of my videos if you've been around for any length of time. We built this new room when Jackson was a newborn. When he came home from the hospital, we started this renovation project and we built a new living room and a new homeschool space. We weren't homeschooling at the time, so it was just like a playroom, uh, but it's since become our homeschool space. And then the lounge room became the middle boys room. So let me show you that new room that we built. Now, this is our big new room. I haven't cleaned it up. It is as it is. I've got laundry sitting everywhere. My kids are here. I've got baby stuff lying around, but this is just what life is. <laughs> So this along here was all the outside of um, the home and we, um, my husband built this big, beautiful room with these high ceilings and we absolutely love it. Hello. <laughs> so this is our living um, space, our living room. We spend every day in here, the couches, the TV and the books. And then the other end of this room is actually where we homeschool. You've probably seen this plenty of times in my videos. This is our homeschool space. So this room runs the entire length of our home, except behind there is where the original lounge room is. So it's a little bit shorter than our home. Uh, but this room is big and beautiful. Um, hi, Emily. <laughs> and I don't know how we ever lived without it. This is our favorite room in the ha um, favorite room in the whole house. And so this really doubled the size um, of our house. Um, <laughs> Sorry, baby paraphernalia, washing, more washing, but we absolutely adore this room. Hi there. Okay, so Emily's opened up for us, so we'll just have a quick look in here. Hi, Emily. Hi. This is Emily's bedroom. <laughs> and as you can see here, we have blasted a hole in the wall. So this was just her room. There was obviously no door there, but what we have decided to do is we have knocked a doorway through her bedroom which goes into the extension part of the home so her, the idea behind it was her bedroom was actually going to become the study um, so I'd finally have a study. You would walk through the study then into a little hallway, which houses our new walk-in storage closet and then Emily's new bedroom. So this is the doorway. As you can see, we haven't finished this. This is a work in progress. So this becomes the little walkway. Um, this becomes our new, Emily's got her desk in there, <laughs> but this becomes our walk-in closet and there's like a pocket door on there. And then this little hallway and I'll see if I can just squeeze under this ladder. This then goes into what will be um, Emily's new bedroom, which is just, uh, as I said, it's just a work in progress. But this will be her new room, which is slightly um, bigger than her current room with really high ceilings, which is awesome because the ceilings in the other part of the house are really low. So this is going to be Emily's new bedroom and this will actually become like a study. But since we actually, since we <laughs> designed this plan, we then had another 
baby join the family. And so we actually need another bedroom. So this, which was, was going to be the walk-in study, will now actually probably have to become one of the children's bedrooms for now. And so I don't get my study, which I'm so sad about, but, um, happy that my children have their own room. So someone, this will either be the baby's room or I think actually Cruz is going to move into this bedroom from the front and baby Jay will go and share with Jackson. Jackson's actually excited to have him share. Um, so no office just yet. Um, so this will become someone else's um, bedroom. So I'm just going to give you a quick look of my son's room because he's actually in there doing his schoolwork and it's a mess, um, but that's okay. So this is my son's bedroom but as you can see we've blown another hole in the wall and that actually goes into um, the new master bedroom so when this is finished if you can imagine from here there's actually going to be a wall so this will be a little hallway there will be a wall to that door and then there'll be two doorways um, off of this little hall one um, doorway will go into what will become our um, ensuite for our master bedroom and then one door will go into a walk-in closet and so as I said William's going to move out of this room into our master bedroom and then this will become our room and then you come in this is a mess in here let me just tell you but this will be our new master bedroom <gasps> look how big it is you can hear the echo the ceiling is really high um, and so this is our new master bedroom so if you can envision King bed there, drawers there with the TV, and then an actual sitting area in here. And we have French doors that go out to our backyard, which is currently an absolute mess because we haven't been able to work on our backyard because we're working on the house and our dog has been digging lots of holes out there. But we have French doors that go outside and we will eventually build a little veranda um, out, a little deck out there as well so this is my new bedroom it is so big i can't believe how big it is compared to the master bedroom i currently have this feels like a suite <laughs> as i said there's enough room in here um behind me will be the bed and then a sitting room as well because we only have one lounge room in our house currently and as my children get older, um, they'll need a place to hang out with their friends and things like that. So that's why we decided to put a sitting room um, in our master bedroom so we could have a little parents treat, a little hideaway. Um, and as I said, William's current bedroom that he's in now becomes a small ensuite bathroom and with a toilet and a, and a walk-in wardrobe for us as well. But at the moment, we're just gonna get this room cleaned up and finished off. We've still got a little bit of painting to do in here at the moment, painting the skirting boards, putting the lights, and then we'll, we'll move in and finish off the rest. There's still, like I'm looking at the door behind the camera, that needs to be painted. Um, and um, I will then clean out the room that William is currently in at the moment. Um, we we need to save up some more money to um, finish the ensuite bathroom and walk-in robe. So that room will stay like that for a, bit, a little bit more. And I'll probably put the baby's things in there and he can sleep in there. And then my husband's going to finish off Emily's room and that closet um, walk-in um, closet <laughs> that I showed you. That's the next thing he's going to do. So... Uh, he's an, we are owner builders. My husband has his owner builders license and so he's just working on this on the weekends. Um, probably take us all year to do it, but that's okay. Um, so we're nearly at move-in stage, which is super exciting. There you go, there is a little tour of my home. If you've made it this far through the video, I just wanna say a big thank you. Um, and if you enjoyed this kind of content on my channel, give it a big thumbs up. Um, but I just thought, you know what? There's only so much homeschool content that I can do for you on my channel. And so I'm still gonna to continue to do my homeschool um, videos, showing you the curriculum that I use, film, a, hopefully film a lot more days in our life. But I just thought I would, you know, add some other videos into my channel as well just purely because um, I like 
I like the creative space that YouTube is um, and making videos and sharing your my life with you guys. And so um, I hope you um, enjoyed um, this video. I hope you enjoyed a little having a little look at our um, little home. And um, yeah, I can't wait to um, sh keep renovating our home and sharing that with you as we go. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching my video today and I will see you next time. Bye.